and you get five dollar back. Whether it's arithmetic, reading, writing, or rapping. We're going to do a rap now. It's going to be good because we're going to put the word together just the way we should. Students at the Pride Academy in Santee are energized, inspired, and focused. Teaching us a lesson and teaching us math. I like doing math. It's because I think math is easy. I like doing the grammar grab because it's really easy and it's fun too. I like science because you can learn about a whole bunch of stuff in space. These third graders at the Pride Academy are embracing the concept of project-based learning. Teacher Robin Larson says it's a dynamic approach that inspires active, engaged learning. Connect, connect. You're making, making connections to the right place. And it, it's a moving target all of the time, wh what each child understands in a concept or not, or where they are in their skills. And so it's my job in this moving environment to make sure that I'm tuned in to who needs a little bit more on this, or wh where is so-and-so going to go with this. In one corner, students collaborate on vocabulary skills using a computer game and a whiteboard. Across the classroom, students work on math by managing a cash drawer. The air is electric with conversation and the exchange of ideas. We needed to develop a way that students were more actively engaged in the curriculum. The stand and deliver model was not working for our kids and we had to change that up. We needed to get them more involved and give them some more exciting ways to get their hands on the curriculum and make it their own. In addition, students develop confidence and self-direction as they move through both team-based and independent work. You have to um, understand how to work as a team, because if you don't work as a team, you just won't have that much fun. What they come to school to learn is really supposed to help who they already are. It's not like I'm making them somebody new. They're, they're going to become who they are. I'm giving them the tools so that they can realize that and really function and be satisfied and have con contributions. Technology drives project-based learning. Blogs and class websites invite the outside world in, including a conference call with NASA. And that was brought about by the internet, by making that connection with an astrophysicist at NASA who said, why don't I just call the class and talk to everybody at once? And at the end, this little student came up to Mrs. Larson and myself and he said, when I grow up, I'm going to work for NASA and then you can call me and I'll answer all the questions. And I really thought I was going to cry because it was that moment when we said, aha, we got it. This is what it's all about. The flexibility of project-based learning is inspiring Pride Academy students to achieve new heights, a 43-point API gain in three years. And there are gains in other important areas as well. A lot of the growth that we've seen in students isn't just measured by that specific score. We have increased attendance. We have uh, lower discipline rates with the, um, I attribute that to the more active engagements in the classroom. Principal Southcott says this type of inspired learning is the path to knowledge in the 21st century. And that's the path that we're on right now, and we're not exactly sure where it's going to take us, but we know that it's going to be exciting and good for kids, and that's, that's our focus. The students couldn't agree more. Well, the best part about this classroom is the teacher, the activities, everything here is the greatest thing in my life. This has been the greatest class in all history. For a place for a thing. Might be a... Check it out again. The verb that follows tells you what is, and it must agree. It's where the action lives.